talking about you. You know, we want to get it clear. I, I adopted you like Madonna adopted kids and everybody else adopted kids. Charlize Theron, everybody that's ever adopted Sandra Bullock. I adopted you because I felt that you could, you know, um, enjoy also having a black parent to take care of you and help you out. So um, um, just clarify because it's, it's so did he give a strange reason to why people were asking question who was the caucasian female that was next to diddy and his kids on a video but it turns out these are the girl's best friends but just a lot of weird behavior going through p diddy in this now me because i'm a father as well i blocked out the child's pictures at least the ones that's not public so we can you know look out for the sanctity of that at least but being that his daughters are public and this video is on a public such as TikTok, instagram and x formerly known as twitter i decided to use that part in the parts where i block out the faces is because the age at the time i have to show proper decorum but i'm gonna fall back i need you guys to hit that like button please smash that like button for dj bless one and i smoke hip hop live platform i'm gonna fall back and let y'all listen to diddy's take on the situation with this white child who he says is his adopted child my name's ava I'm a Scorpio. No, no, no. What's your last name? Oh, Ava Combs. What's your other last name? Ava Baroni. Ava Baroni Combs? Yes, it's, it's breaking news. Diddy adopted a white child. I want, you, I want you to tell them the story about how I adopted you. But you still have beautiful parents that, but you're my child also. But please, please tell the story. So, I was <laughs> on the streets. Now, I wanted to pause it from here to make sure you guys listen. Ava Baroni is only best friends with Diddy twin sisters. He legally didn't adopt her at all. He's playing around here. The reason why this video went viral, just the nature of it and the uncomfortability of the things going on as far as the video, a little too close. And now because of certain things coming out about Diddy, whether true or not, it's kind of distasteful to see this if you want me to be honest. So I'm going to fall back and let the rest of the video continue. Salute the Dom Lurkree on X and salute all of y'all. <laughs> and then Papa Combs decided to, that he would like to be a caring man. So then he saw me and decided to pick me up and said to come inside and play with his kids. adopted kids and everybody else adopted kids Charlize Theron everybody's ever adopted Sandra Bullock I adopted you because I felt that you could you know um enjoy also having a black parent to take care of you and help you out so um um just clarify because it's, it's crazy out here online so, so we <laughs> played with the kids and I got permission from your mother so um um, just clarify, because it's, it's crazy out here online. So, so <laughs> I played with the kids, and I got permission from your mother. And to say all of that, to just make it crazy out here. Um, well, I met Jesse and Lila when I was six months old. Six months. <laughs> and six then, months. basically, our sisters, all four six of us. So. Six months. I always come over. Yes. And, and it's Ava Brioni Combs. Come on. Let's go. Combs. Come on. Brioni Combs. Come on. And it's Ava Brioni Combs. Come on. Now, whether you're looking at this video and you got things to say, I'm looking at it and just feeling, you know what I mean? Like, it's just a little weird right now at this point. Now, it 
It sounds like Comb on the video made Ava sound like a homeless child who had nowhere to go and he got her and helped her out. Number one, we know he legally didn't adopt her at all. So why would he even insinuate that, joking or not? Number two, Ava comes from an affluent family and they don't have any money issues or nothing like that. None at all just merely friends with his daughters so this video is just it just speaks volumes to some of the things circulating around here and now i don't want to be one of these people making our own narrative of the situation and painting their own scenario i'm not going to do that to sean combs what i will do though is track some of the things which are the breadcrumbs because if you follow the breadcrumbs they'll usually lead you to other things that are more i'm not going to say damning but more prevalent in the situation to be more evident you know what i mean substantial evidence is the key here so right now we're just speculating on what diddy might be doing or not be doing but looking at this video and seeing this it's just kind of creepy man and seeing the other one behind him who's the son of um i forgot the, the one the singer who sung night and day quincy something like that anyways that's his son in the background which diddy raised as well which was weird i don't know what was going on between uh him quincy and his real dad because we know his real dad was a celebrity as well hit maker in the music business you know what i mean but i don't get into those things maybe diddy does love the kids you know what i mean maybe it's a situation like that i don't know i know martin lawrence used to say it but that was just a character on tv now there's nothing wrong loving the young adolescents and wanting to help them but some of these things are just a little bit weird and i think we can be honest about it Look, I'm DJ Bless, one of the best one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed. And one more final thing I wanted to say about this whole situation is just that, will it be wise for Diddy to even be around young ones or anybody, if the case may be, is that? because Not because of what you guys may be thinking. I'm strategically looking at this as the embarrassment that his family are going to have to face for a while now. You know what I mean? These are some stains that probably can't be washed away, Now, at least not during his lifetime, but we're hoping during the kid's lifetime, it doesn't get thrown back in their face because this is a world where you're guilty until proven innocent, not proven innocent, uh, you're innocent until proven guilty. We know that court of public opinion always hold court amongst themselves and find people guilty or innocent even if stats and uh uh how you say it uh, evidence shows that you're innocent people are going to harbor these feelings and have their own speculations and look at it as cold hard truth so right now diddy needs a lot of pr uh repair and help and he needs to hire the best people to e either combat some of these allegations or go after some of these things so he can at least have that one spot where people can always say but remember diddy did fight for his innocent but right now it's just looking like he's doing a russell simmons and preparing for the outgoing poor since he's selling his uh, uh actual estates and he's selling his revolt tv it's just a lot of weird things behind the scenes look man i'm gonna fall back y'all let me know in the comment sections how y'all feel about all this i'm dj blessed one the best one love your family love your kids and stay blessed peace Drop them. Zoe, hit on with Tijuette. <laughs> and now her panties all wet. Came back around, spin the black with Saka Fett. DJ Bless One.